Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, put myself in this capsule. That's it. Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tyro the Fox. Ah, this is Let's Play Thursday. Yeah, we're going to do a normal Let's Play Thursday episode this time. Um, the reason being is that I'm planning on doing a... Uh, I said last week that I would do a second stream this week, and I'm sticking to that. In this case, uh, we're actually going to play a little bit more Free Chain of Memories on Saturday, because then I can dedicate more time to it to get more of it out of the way. Uh, yeah, I think Saturday would be a good idea. I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm doing anything huge then, so... At least not in the late evening. Alright, uh, let me just... Um, up on uh, just posting about the stream on Facebook there we go I think that's everything hey guys all right so uh, I managed to get the uh, I managed to get it working this time actually okay you can't see that but still um, the fun thing about how this uh, how the problem was is that uh, what was it it was um, oh God the problem was that I had set it up incorrectly last time. Um, I was trying to get it to work, and then the bloody thing wouldn't uh, function correct. Oh, I'll just duplicate the screen. Uh, the, th the bloody thing wouldn't function correctly because I hadn't uh, placed. A, I haven't uh, actually sorted out my uh, what was it? Um, the video capture ca uh, video capture card that actually has several settings depending on what input you put into it, and I hadn't gotten the input ready, sorted, yet. Anyway, um, there's a reason I'm currently still on screen, because we're going to do a, a, qu a few quick amiibo bits and pieces. Uh, most of the Wii U games, of course, have got uh, amiibo as support, and just like Hyrule Warriors, Pokémon Tournament has one as well. And for some strange reason, my TV's value is still on. Hang on. So you can have a look at my crotch for a little bit. Excuse me. Ah, there we go. So yeah, the uh, these little things, they're actually for, well, unlike in um, Hyrule Warriors where they gave you a random drop of something actually useful to the game, these give you cosmetic items, so uh, I've got quite a few of these. Uh, managed to collect all of the uh, Splatoon ones, and this is the uh, kind of the coolest one I have, which is uh, this plushy yarn uh, Yoshi. Oh, yep, there we go, fluffy muffler, thank you. have acquired a new title that is almost entirely useless. Why can't I hear anything from this thing? That is strange. Set default. There we go. Ugh. Had everything messed around with, so. There we go. <laughs> Everything's back to normal. Anyway, isn't this cute? I got a friend of mine gave me this. It's so, such a cute thing. And it's still an amiibo. Make you, make you wish that the others were like that. Okay, and then I have this. Actually, relatively rare one. I saw this in game. Is our equivalent of GameStop, and I had to pick it up. So, and it's given me a battle sizer. I have no idea. 
idea. And I've of course got the uh, male impling. Sounds like it should be a reality show, the male impling. Santa hat and mid-length mid hair. Purple rage colour. Okay, fine. Uh, I don't know how many more of these are allowed. You, for some reason you have a five amiibo limit. That's it. It is silly, but it is true. So that's five, and that should... Skeptile Supporter. That's nice. Let's chuck these over here. Honestly, the Splatoon one's probably my favourite still. Although, this is obviously the best. Mm. Anyway, on with the actual game itself. So, uh, the idea of this is that it is... Uh, strangely enough, it is Pokemon. The fighting, the one on one fighting game. I'm going to get off the screen now, excuse me. There we go. Now, it is basically Pokemon the one on one fighting game, so. Uh, kind of. There's a few really odd bits and pieces to it, and just to give you an idea of what uh, the thing is like. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. So, uh, I've been playing almost exclusively with Pikachu, because, well, he is Pikachu, uh, to the point where I've given him, what was it, uh, 16 strategy and synergy, 33 attack and 32 defense. I'm not entirely sure what that means, honestly, but it's neat. Um, I, I might as well show you how Pikachu handles and then we'll randomly pick someone just to sort of show what's going on. Uh, this bit is... Um, please ignore the strange woman who never shuts up. Um, <laughs> she uh, uh, she has a really strange... They have the chandelier Pokemon in this. Yeah, they have the chandelier more Pokemon but none of the Hitmon Chan. Character, uh, Pokemon. Honestly, I don't mind that. I mean, it makes sense that Hitmonchan would be in here and Hitmon Lee. But I wouldn't have thought of Chandler uh, to be in here, and he's actually kind of cool. I'll play as him in a minute. Uh, who would be really neat? Uh, Embryon and Espeon are actually quite a good team, so we'll go with that one. Our opponent. Hmm. Now yeah, we'll go with random for them. Right, uh, standard, I don't care, otherwise, battle, whatever, wherever, who cares. Right, so the best I can possibly say to describe how this works is kind of a mashup of a lot of different systems into one which feels at least like something which I haven't seen done before. Let's see. Yeah, we want Espeon first. Right, so the idea, what I've just done here is that I've chosen my support character. Ooh, dear. Right, and now we're into the uh, field phase. The field phase is a 3D roaming locked on sort of thing, and then we switch to dual phase, where the dual phase uh, is the one on one fight a bit, and this is where you deal the most damage. See, the idea is that during the game, you sort of sit swift, yeah, you switch between these two points. So you switch between approaching your opponent and then, oh boy, you switch between approaching your opponent and then, uh, you know, staring them down for extra damage. If that makes any sense. Ah. Uh, We'll activate Umbreon. The support Pokemon, I think the best example I can think of of where they've been used is kind of old here. Okay, they're using the uh, Synergy attack, which is... Oh boy. The Synergy attack, which is just the special ability, and uh, it's the only time they're allowed to use their special move as well. Yep. 
I have gotten surprisingly good with Pikachu, so <laughs> this is going to be a cakewalk. I might as well show you... Okay, so Umbreon here. If I push this button, Umbreon will be summoned to the game. And uh, Umbreon kind of works the same way a... Uh, calling your opponent... Oh no, calling your tag team partner in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom is supposed to work. You sort of pull them in in order to do their special move and then you use that in order to chain abilities of them. Or to gain the opponent in some, or gain the advantage in some way. In my case, uh, Umbreon I think does a small amount of um, HP healing. And then uh, Umbreon, if they're caught in the blast of Umbreon's attack, their synergy gauge goes down, which is basically their special move gauge. Ooh, we got a side undo. Yay. I might show you those in a bit. It's a little bit underwhelming. But Honestly, it feels like this was the part which took the most time to complete. Um, you might as well change the Pokemon just to make it a bit more interesting. So yeah, Pikachu at the moment is my favourite. He's very, he's relatively quick, but also has enough of a uh, enough of a hit. Uh, I, I I really like him. Yeah, there are two Pikachu's, but um, I'm such a I'm probably such a dork that I know the difference between the two. Uh, this is just a Pikachu uh, because Pikachu Pokemon franchise got to have him in in there somewhere. And Pikachu's are supposed to be really well, well apparently really good at fighting. I mean, Smash Bros. Come on. This Pikachu, on the other hand, um, players of Pokemon, uh, what was it, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire might recognise this one. Yeah, judging by the tail there, that is actually cosplay Pikachu from, the, from Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. And she's in here as a Lucha Libre. <laughs> Actually, she's the uh, speed character. So um, yeah, do you see the the next the uh, next the levels? They have a little symbol. That is an indication of what kind of character. And you have three types. You have standard, which means they're they're relatively ban balanced. Technical, which means they specialize in a lot of a bit uh, a lot of unusual abilities and gaining the advantage. Uh, Oh, actually, there's four four types. Uh, speed, which allows, the, uh, which is pretty much flat out attacking the opponent as hard as they can, and then power. Well, uh, speed is trying to land as many hit, uh, you know, is trying to uh, outmaneuver the opponent, land as many hits as possible in a short amount of time. And Machamp is uh, well, Machamp is power, and uh, power characters tend to. Be focused around trying to hammer as much pa uh, as much damage into their opponent as possible. There's honestly actually the only fighting type here. Oh no, there is uh, there is Blaziken, and technically Pikachu Libre. But uh, yeah, I'm wondering who I should play as next. Actually, uh, there's Gosh Stomp. Yeah, he's the character list. By the way, we have Blaziken. Uh, Pikachu, which I've already completed the game with, more or less. Uh, Lucario, because of course, you can play it in Smash Bros, you can play it in here. Uh, we have Gardevoir, who's no longer an assist trophy, is actually actually playable now. Pikachu Libre, um, because, well, he, uh, cosplay Pikachu is awesome. Grexian, yeah. This character I'm going to have to show you, because she's actually really cool. At least I'm pretty certain it's a shield. Yeah, you'll see in a second. Machamp? Not bad. Uh, pretty intimidating, honestly. Then we have Gengar, who is arguably one of my favourite characters in the game, and I will show you in a second. Then we have Skeptile, who's just kind of cool looking, really. Uh, we have Mewtwo, because again, fighting game. Yeah. If they appeared in Smash Bros, they should appear here. Chandelure. I don't mind Chandelure here. One, because I wouldn't have thought of putting him in here, and... Well, why not? It's uh, it's nice to have a variety of characters, rather than just going for the complete boring obvious. 
such as Suicune for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why Suicune is in here, but uh, yeah, yeah. Weevil, um, Charizard, Garsh Stomp, and Shadow Mewtwo. That's actually part of the <clears throat> quote unquote story of the game. And it, it's pretty generic. Um, you, you are a up and coming Pokemon trainer in the Pokemon tournament. And Shadow Mewtwo has a rock in him which is making him evil. And he seeks you out because you emit a special energy which he likes. And he is trying to absorb all the special energy for himself because of the evil rock. And you have to save him while also climbing the ranks in the tournament. It is a... Uh, uh, I'm going to show you Brexian actually for this one and uh, whoever comes out to be fair I don't uh, I'm uh, I don't bemoan the number of characters because I do hope that this eventually gets some DLC um, I'm going to go with uh, Frogadier and Eevee that's quite a good one because they do have quite a lot of characters, uh, have a lot of Pokemon in here, and the characters which have been um, the characters which have been included, I think, are quite nicely polished. Actually, there's not many of them. I'll give you that, but there's a lot to there's a lot of personality in some of these guys. Let me show you. First off, there's Break. Well, first off, we're going to play as Brexium, the Dark Colosseum. Dun dun dun. Yes, for reasons I don't fully understand, Brexian has been kind of turned into a magical girl sort of thing. Watch. Right, okay, so fire and also Psybeam. Yes, that's Psybeam, apparently. Cool. Alright, there's a counter. Oh boy! Ah, uh, come on, block! Ooh. Honestly, the closest comparison I can think of to any fighting games which I enjoy is Soul Calibur. Um, and pretty much the the highest. Uh, oh dear. Okay, no, we did some good damage there. Like I said, I've gotten quite good at this. Oh dear. Oh wait, no, I said that about Pikachu. Brexy and I have not played very often at all. Whoa. Let's grab. Nope. Alright then. Right, we'll bring in Frogadier. Get him! And there we go. Yeah, I hope they do things like uh, Pyro Warriors, because... A lot of the stuff in a lot of the DLC in Hyrule Warriors, I love. I love the fact that they put in the Majora's Mask version of Link and and Tingle. Some of the stuff in there is brilliant. It just keep you playing for days. This I think definitely needs a little bit more um, DLC in it. Just some more characters would be lovely. Uh, maybe a more a more challenging story, but. Nah. More stages, more characters, I'd be happy. Right. Okay, we're into dual phase. We smack. No, come on. Okay. Oh. There we go. Ah. Uh, yeah. Breaksing can do that because reasons. Right, now I'm going to activate my synergy burst, which activate which makes my character a little bit more powerful. Oh boy. I don't need speed. I have my special move. Which did nothing. Oh, great. Now. Uh -huh. 
Most of the all of the special moves are activated by hammer by basically slamming in uh, left and uh, L Y uh, was it L Z L and L and R I think. Um, come on, gotcha. Yeah, L and R. Okay, we'll call in some support in order to deal a few extra points of damage because EV increases our attack. Hooray! Okay, Braxian is pretty cute. Uh, the fact that for some reason she's magic is also quite lovely. It's getting a bit loud? I am sorry. Let me uh, turn that down a bit. It's not actually coming up on my thing. Oh, yes. Uh, whenever you... Uh, your Pokémon actually increase in level. And whenever they increase in level, uh, they gain points. I have no idea what to do with... Uh, with uh, this is direction Should uh, try and you know what? Sure, let's go for support with her. <sighs> cool. Most of this stuff is just superfluous. Um let's try a power character, shall we? Charizard. I haven't tried my champ out yet. Maybe somewhat random. Yeah, if I had to compare the how this feels, it's kind of like a cross between... It's like if a one-on-one -on -one fighter wanted to include more bits and pieces of, um, like, Soul Calibur. That's the sort of thing which I keep coming back to in comparison, because it is my favourite fighting game. Uh, my fi my favourite fighting game with Smash Bros. afterwards, but... I, I, I really like that, it's good fun, I can play it quite effectively, I've spent quite a lot of time learning it, so, yeah, and my favourite in the series is, is number three, because that has tons to do in it. Uh, let's see, oh, okay, they both attack and they both charge really easily, nice. Uh... I do apologise if you can if you can hear the uh, the voiceover. Oh bloody hell! No 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 no! Oh oh dear! Oh! I think one of the cute things is that um, they do have two Pikachu's, but at least the two Pikachu's handle very differently. Oh come on! I do apologise for the voice acting of uh, my support character. She's, um... Uh, you haven't had to talk. You haven't had to listen, listen that. Sit there and listen to a talk for hours. Right, let's use the Q-bone. Damn it. Bam! Oh boy. That does not bode well. Oh, bloody hell. Stop it. Please stop it. Sod it. I'll do it back. There we go. Come on. Okay, we're using Macham's special move. Bam! Oh, it's something out of JoJo. I think. Bam, 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 bam. Neat. So yeah, Machamp, not very fast, but at least he deals some damage. Okay, let's use Diglett this time. The only thing I hear is that we use hard drive going nuts. Really? Huh. That's odd.
How's that? Uh, it can be difficult to get the balance right on some of these things. Hang on a second. No sound effects at all. Yeah. For a second, a little bit of technical difficulties. I don't actually seem to be getting anything from it. That is weird. It's not muted or anything, it's perfectly fine. I wonder why. I can't figure. It's odd, because I can help oh, me if that even was. There we go, I can hear it, but apparently you can't. That's odd. Oh, wait, hang on. There we go, how's that? Don't want it too loud because otherwise it'll blast me in the ears. And you won't be able to hear me. How about now? Only slightly, really? How's that? So as if we get these things out of the way now, they'll uh Ah, Joy's just screaming. Yeah, we don't want it too loud or it'll drown me out. Right, where was I? Oh yeah, beating the snot out of it. Uh, don't get careless. Hang on. There we go. Oh boy. Oh no 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 no. Oh. This is the problem. I can't hit anything. Okay. Well, managing to deal some heavy damage, that's good. Ooh. Machamp just really seems like a very heavy character. There's no bad thing. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh come on. 
Meanwhile, as soon as uh, as soon as Pikachu here lands a hit on you, she just does not let up. Bang! Champ is, the champ is definitely one of those guys who just when he hits hard, when he hits, he hits hard. Awesome. My cheering seems to have worked, huh? Oh shut up, you stupid thing. Looks like my advice is helping, huh? You haven't had to listen to this get this woman for about where you want to assign for ages. Alright, we'll go into defense for the champ. Okay. Next bat, next Pokemon. Honestly, this is sort of the entire Pokemon game. Are you battling just with? Playing matches. There's not a huge amount to this. There's a story mode, and that's kind of it. Um, Time to pick a support set. There's a little bit of customization of your character, but otherwise. Really nothing more than anything. I'm gonna go with Farfetch'd and Electro, keep it on bolted. Random for my opponent. Yep. Okay, we're up against Mewtwo. Alright. Now this is now there's a oh wow. Look like a Dragon Ball Z character there. In this freezer. I don't know if see it. Now one of the cute things about Gengar, for some reason he seems a, aware of the opponent. Uh, he seems aware of the camera which is watching him. Oh shut up, please. Oh no, we're not getting past him. Not getting past him to defense. There. Now the thing about Gengar is that he is considered a technical character, so he's able to do some very weird moves which are difficult to predict. As ooh, you know, a delayed shadow punch thing. Okay, we can call in support. It's kind of like calling in your partner in uh, Marvel vs. I just said that. Nope, missed him with the shadow punch. That shadow punch is so useful. BAM! Okay, Kenkar does a lot of teleporting around and such. It, it is surprisingly fun to use. Okay, Electrode, because I can. The problem which I have with the... Uh, shut up, please, I will turn you off. I usually play this uh, while I'm watching something, which means I turn off the sound for this, play, and then have the sound for what I'm watching, and that means I don't have to listen to her. There's something so strange about her delivery, it is infuriating. Boom! I don't know what I just did. There we go, hypnosis with a slam from behind, very cool. Ooh! Nope. Mega Revolve! Oh, Gengar's, Gengar's special move is so cool. What's this? I'm falling through the credits of Freddy. Opening credits of the, of the uh, Beetlejuice cartoon is ridiculous. Falling into nightmare sludge. Isn't that frightening? <laughs> One thing you probably wouldn't have wanted to have seen in 3D, but here it is. Awesome. Mega Gengar. Hey, keep up the good work. Yeah, Gengar is actually quite good fun to play. What else? Um, Suicune is kind of weird. I have not played as Gardevoir at all. 
you know, I'm going to actually leave it up to a vote. Who would, who would like to see who? Who would you like me to play next? Or, we've got other stuff to do as well. Play another couple of matches and then we'll see... Uh, because there are other bits and pieces on my Wii U, apparently, we could be playing. I must have downloaded at some point when I was in my booking. Anyone got any... Anyone got any requests? Woohoo! The Blaziken. Chandler. The... Ab the, uh, the absolute favourite of every fan. Both of them, of course. Uh, come on, going once. Going twice. Alright, never mind. I'm going to play a Suicune because I can. Chandelier. Choose your Pokemon. Yeah, I'll take that. First one. Go for random again. It's okay, the matches don't last too long. Only because uh, I'm playing. I'm going to try Dragonite and Victi. Victini. I do like the idea of the support system, where you can throw in extra Pokemon in order to help you out. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, let's go with the Reggie Gigas statue place. Ah, oh, our opponents are saying thanks for playing with me. It's okay, player two. Oh wow, this stage looks awesome. I love the idea of the red of the uh, Reggies in the background. Uh, I didn't know that it made that noise. Okay, we'll go. With... Yeah, thanks. Seriously, the support the support woman just has the flattest delivery I've ever heard. Of a, uh, I've ever heard from anyone in these games. I, mean, a, I think there's a reason why they don't usually go for voice acting. It doesn't really or at the very least, the localized version is incredibly bad. They've not really hit cheesy, they've just gone as bland as all possible. Bland as all possible. Wow, my English is brilliant. Alright, we'll counter because of course it's going to attack. I have to admit, the fighting system in this is actually quite good. It's, um... I, at least I like it. It's very punchy, it's very quick, there's not too many combos in it, so it's not too complicated. The, uh, the most complicated thing is figuring out the changes between... ...needs or change the support. Uh, you can change your support and you can shut this woman up. Which is generally a good idea, and there's an option for it, which is lovely. I've got her on the middle setting, which means the uh, this is apparently the lesser version. Wow, Shandler does a lot of things. a lot of projectile stuff. It's quite cool. Bam! I don't know what Victi does. Victi increases uh, all critical hits. Oh, cool! Bam! Super effective! Haha! <laughs> wow, that went well. Yeah, but there's not too many combos in this. Um, so, all, so all Pokemon... They don't feel the same, but they are... They are, they are, they are, they do have um, moves and things which are cut from similar... Uh, control schemes allowing you to pick up and play very easily, which is a re which makes the game accessible. Not the most complex thing in the world, I'll give you that. But uh, the complexity is probably more trying to figure out uh, effective methods of using the switch, uh, the scene switching mechanics, and uh, figuring out how best to approach your opponent. And using your Pokémon's abilities to its advantage, to your advantage, it reminds me of. Uh, it reminds me more of 
of either, not so much Smash Bros, but more, um, what was it, uh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, because it's, it's not as simplistic as Pokemon. Okay, anyone got any, uh, anyone got any suggestions for what you'd like to see played as next? All these guys. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's not as simplistic as Smash Brothers. Um, it's not like you just pick a. It, it's not like you just sort of throw very simplistic uh, moves out in order to chain them into a, in order to chain them out, chain them into a combo. In this, you do have combos, you do have abilities, you do have um, uh, combinations which will link to link to each other. Charizard, it is. Yeah, but uh, so, but um, the combos are generally very, very short, meaning that you don't necessarily, meaning that you sort of you launch combos when they're ne when they're necessary and when they will be the most effective, rather than necessarily um, just uh, you know one after the other after the other after the other. You tend to pick your moments, and if you got the advantage, you press on hard, just like in Smash Brothers. Just a little bit more complicated. I think the bottom line is, I quite like this. I would like either DLC, or I would like a, another game in the series. So I think they're both really cool. I'd like more in the game, of course, and I quite, I quite like the different or at least more characters. Bam! This is the two power characters versus each other. This is going to be interesting. Boom! Gotcha for a grab. And you are finished. Wow, that was quick. Venusaur? I do like next Venusaur. Venusaur is at least quite versatile. Well, uh. Charizard can learn flying if it is. Right, let's use Pachirazu because we can. Boom! Ooh. Huh, there's a Lugia statue in the background. I don't know if you can how well you can see this at home, but for me, this game looks fantastic. That's the thing about the Wii U, it is it, it is a nice looking console. It's got it has the ability to look really great. There's a few odd choices in how they've rendered the Pokemon, but uh, I think they look quite good. For the most part, anyway. It's the, it's the textures. I'm very used to them being quite flat sprites, or uh, very stylized models. I'm not used to them being uh, quite so highly detailed like this. My favourite starter? I like Octobot. I'm not sure I'm weird. Um, I probably want to show Suicune. Just because Suicune's kind of odd. It's the set. only legendary. Well, actually, you play it in the two, then. Because it's the only other new, uh, legendary you play as. Huh. That thing on its head is crystalline? Crystalline? Really? All right then. Time for battle. I Please show them what you're made of. Round one. Hey, Suicune Just seems to be really good at like beams and bam. Okay. Seems to be really has a lot of means for uh, projectile attacks, at least the ability to move 
I used to have the ability to do quite a lot of damage at this stage. Too early. Use your synergy first. Why would I care? Why are you telling me this? Oh yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, that's uh, Kari didn't put up much of a fight, did it? The next round is where it okay. all right. Keep that up for the next battle. The one use which this woman has is that she will uh, she will replenish your synergy gauge uh, for different modes as well, depending on which one you choose. Incredible! You've already taken the lead. Now. Right. Dealing with a legendary. I don't think you can win this. Come on. Please work. Oh. No, oh, he counted my special by using this. That power. That's gotta hurt. But they're all out of tricks now. Big I don't know why. Ooh. There we go. That was, kind of that was actually quite a flashy ending. Just sort of smack, uh, just sort of get my critical hit and then just sort of smash. Awesome. Flick him out of my way. Riku doesn't up level up from that, really. You earned a new title. Okay. So the, yeah, so that's Pokémon Tournament. The rest of the game is just variations on that. Um, we have the League version, where you play in leagues. We go all the way up from green, green blue, red, chroma, and then Iron like League. On the Iron League. Which, if you remember correctly, that this is... If you remember that this is built by the guys who behind uh, Tekken, if I remember correctly. Let's see. I have a box here. Uh, I think it's the guy behind the uh, tech one, anyway. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the tech in there is, is for, uh, at least I think so, really. Or at least they're trying to model themselves off of Tekken, and uh, Tekken is supposed to be uh, the tournament, they're supposed to translate as the Tournament of the Iron Fist or something. That's actually a bit of a reference. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's just the story mode. Uh, there's a few special events as well where you have to fight against other creatures or shadow meter if you really want. Who's that? Really annoying as well. Uh, single battles where you just do single battles. Uh, local co op battles. Apparently, apparently, it is possible to do. Um, it is possible to link up two game, two Wii U's in order to play uh, on a on two extra TV screens. Just apparently, I don't know if it's. Uh, I think it's possible. Let me check this. Back of the box. Back of the box. Still dead. Offline. No, it doesn't mention it at all. I think I heard it somewhere that it was a thing that could be done, but... Uh... Oh well. Uh, there's also online battles, which are the same. Just online. I haven't done it very... I haven't played it very often, so I'm not sure if there's anything too special there. <sighs> it's... it's okay. Um... This is, uh, however, my town is probably the slightly more interesting bit. Here's the advisor. You can cho you can choose her skill, and you can choose when she'll uh, do things. Um, uh, this dictates when she'll give you that uh, bonus for uh, cheer. Hiccups now. Uh, you can also change your outfit for reasons I don't fully understand, but yeah, you can do that. <laughs> I have unlocked these ones. I, because I have. So I've unlocked. Yeah, that's her standard. I don't know why, but that's the one which she wears normally. And then there's uh, Mischievous, which 
And then there's Sexy Santa. Uh, there is a uh, hipster chick. Uh, this one, which looks the most reasonable, which is why she's wearing it for me. I mean, she's uh, the, which is why I told her to wear that. Uh, there's no way of phrasing that, which doesn't make me sound like a git, does it? That makes her look like Yuna from Final Fantasy X. Uh, then there's Sporty Spice, apparently, just a baggy top. Um, and then Rarity dress. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's it's nothing compared to what you can do what you can dress yourself up like. Uh let me see if I can find uh, no 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 that's not what I wanted. Damn it, no. Guess the loading screens are quite quick, although it's not that there's not much of loading. Uh profile setting, see we go. See that character? That's supposed to be representing me. Unfortunately, I've given myself a blank look because it looked the most reasonable at the time, and it now <laughs> I can't change it. <laughs> um, one of the things which I can can I change it at all? No, that's just changing my name. I don't want to change my name. I want to which remain Tyra. Uh, avatar customization. Yeah, this is one of the things which you spend most of the game trying to unlock. In fact, that money total in the bottom. That's Part of, that's pretty much what your money goes on, or at least part, partly does. We have a surprising number of these things. Uh, black tea, really? Okay. Uh, at least there's quite a variety of stuff in here. Even if my character looks incredible, it looks just mesmerized by something off in the distance. Oh, that looks so interesting, but at least I've got a hat. Uh, you can change the face paint. Why? Glasses! Apparently those are fox glasses. Okay. Uh, ninja mask. Right. Yeah. Um, you can also have various scarves. I have a purple one because I think it looks good. There's various costumes. Uh, yada yada yada. Uh, various backgrounds as well. This stuff. And then, um. Oh, we're back to hats and things. Yeah. Isn't it exciting? Ooh. I can hardly contain my excitement. But this is part of what you end up unlocking. The other stuff is this these things. Um you get titles which you can display when you're online you know, just in general really. There's nothing to it. There's surprisingly lack. There's a surprising lack of stuff in here, really. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess these are kind of neat in COD, where you're online almost constantly. But in Pokémon Tournament, I'm not online constantly, so these are kind of boring. The Avatar stuff is okay, but I really wish there was something more interesting to spend my money on. Ah. <sighs> Ah, uh, well, not all games to be Soul Calibur 3, which have content coming out of its arse, and so much stuff to do in the game. Well, seeing as we've actually kind of exhausted Pokemon Tournament there, I'm serious, there's not too much to do other than just look through some of the other characters. How about we play something else? Lucky for you, we did get a few new games. Come on. Uh, one which I'm kind of interested in doing is this one. Affordable Space Adventures. Because I think it'd be cute. 
don't know. I remember watching this, uh, watching this in the um, uh, the Wii U menu. Yeah, the other things which I've got is Shante in the uh, Pirate's Curse. Here we go, I'm showing you my screen so that you can uh, have an idea of what I've got. I've got Shante, and I've also got uh, Forbidden Planet. What was it? I think it's Forbidden Planet. Forbidden World. Forbidden something special planet. Freedom Planet! That was it. There we go. You know, I'll get there in the end. And the other thing which I've got on there is... Uh, yeah, I've got Kirby Superstar as well. That was neat. Um, I still need to finish uh, Gunman 5 HD Collection. Isn't that actually? actually, that's a good game. It's kind of... It's kind of... Uh, kind of Wild West Mega Man. Very cool. I'm kind of a I don't know. Um, Freedom Planet is supposed to be a really good version, a really good inspiration thing for uh, Sonic. But I'm also kind of curious about uh, the Vacation one. I've not played a Shanto game before, like ever. So I'm um, not. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Shante, the Shante one, I think, is supposed to be a heck of a lot slower. Uh, just because it's... Um, I think it's a Metroidvania one. I don't know. I'm, ch I'm torn between the... Uh, I'm torn between Freedom Planet and the... Uh, uh, Honestly, thinking affordable space adventures, just because I've seen Freedom Planet, I know it's quite entertaining. I want to try affordable space adventures, just because I haven't seen it in any way, shape, or form yet. I vaguely know what a Shanto game is like, and I know what uh, Freedom Planet is like. It's basically Sonic the Hedgehog, but affordable space planet space adventures? No, not a clue. I remember watching it on the uh, the eShop, some of its trailers, but nothing to n nothing is coming back to me at all. Well, at least we know it's version 2.0.0. That's a good sign, maybe. Yeah, I'll play this for a bit and then we'll go laugh at the voice acting on um, Freedom Planet. I think. <laughs> Cap Hawk Games. Yay. And the Flasses Games. Okay, so who do they belong to then? Start your journey today! Alright, matey. Intergalactic Space Passport. Man, I bet those things are Okay, we'll start with Journey 1, I suppose. Technical Tourist. Start a new chapter of Freud of the extremely difficult puzzles. Uh, get the most out of your small craft with our all inclusive tent for exploration credit. Get up and go with these, try our somewhat inclusive tourist exploration credit. Right. Uh, Sunday recovery tent. supposed to play this with someone else? Controls heads down to display. Controls Small problem. Am I supposed to play this with other people? I'm afraid maybe it's just me. Ah, I've got to adjust the scanner. Uh, Yeah, sure, fine. Neither is great. There is 
Oh, what a setup in this thing. And it's for three players? What have I agreed to play? You can be a professional space explorer. Oh, Let you explore cool. provide you with a cheap but functional spaceship equipped with everything you could possibly need on an alien world. We call it Does it have a telegraph? Does it have a microwave? But how do I find an alien world? We've already so found far, so far, so I'm guide to the galaxy. We've named it Spectacular. Uh -huh. It's located 23 light years away. It's safe. Amazing. With 99% of its surface area uncharted, if you map an area first, you can claim it as yours. Right, who wants the bed that has the ones that you claim? How do I get there? Boring, ugly, we take care of that too. Completely uninteresting. Your small craft will be loaded into a container, which is then loaded into the U Explore mothership. When we reach Spectaculon, the dropship will carry the container down to the surface. And Ever since playing Portal, I don't trust kindly voiceovers. Back the kindlier the Yes, I'm With sure zero it is. accidents since 1995, <laughs> you explore is as safe as space travel gets. Right. So Rent your small craft today. Richard Branson managed to get ten percent discount. Off the ground in 1995. And this just must be a ripoff com company. Hey, going to Spectaculon. We're gonna die, aren't we? Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, my anticipation for this is that we're just going to die almost immediately. Oh, bloody hell. Right, you can't see my screen, but there's, uh, I can describe it. There's not much going on on yours, at least, though. Just some uh, green stuff. Uh, there's just some computer bits and pieces on my screen. They're just starting up the system. Explore OS! Now starting. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Ugh. Hooray! Ooh, hello. Flashlight! Okay, so we move that around with the right hand stick. Cool. So. There we go. Alright, so the touchscreen controls some of the systems on our ship. That's nice. Can we move? Well, so far so crappy, just as I was expecting it to be. Uh, start fuel, basic engine, this will tap the okay. So. Ah! There, now we can move. Alright. Well, this looks like it might be Metroidvania. Of the ships. Why don't my ship stand still? Hey. Stupid cheap Martian engines. Get the gyroscopic stabilizers from the Volkswagen. I'm not even sure if that's uh, an appropriate insult. Apparently we managed 
managed to get uh, intergalactic space travel in 1995, so uh, at the same time people were playing Pokemon, they were going to space. Oh well, let's turn this into Splunk uh, Spel uh, Spelunky. I like the marketing effects. Uh, they look quite <laughs> overwhelmingly dark on your screen, but in mine they look lovely. Quite foreboding. Get to know Splory the Tiny Craft. Yay! I love flying. You and I. Don't you? I'm here to help you provide... Uh, excuse me. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Well, so far, so... Uh, what could have been a cutscene, I guess. So what is going on? Why are we here and why is everything destroyed? I am guessing this is going to be one of those games which uh, prefers show don't tell so hard that it's just going to tell us absolutely bloody nothing. Oh, cool. Is this the part where they explain how life and damage works in this, uh, in this game? Now, who's throwing rocks? And seriously, who throws entire boulders? Physics engine, everyone. Yay! Even though it's two and a half D. Sort of. Do I have to worry about a fuel system or will be good? Nothing on, nothing on my screen is uh, coming up with a complaint, so. Is that showing us how to use the cup holder? It's cute that they've got these little touches. Okay, right. So, uh, uh, call me Dr. Hatcher. I'm guessing there was a storm. It pretty much screwed over our mother. Small craft hit by lightning. Small craft hit by lightning from, a, from an electromagnetic storm. Your systems are turned off. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Right. There we go. So if we climb too high, the electromagnetic storm is going to blow the screw us over. Pretty soon, that's what happens. Oh, hello. Fuel thruster. Fuel thruster. That lets us uh, that lets us charge into things. Okay. Right. So now we can increase our speed, which means that we can go in. Ah. Okay. So the more we you are uh, on my screen, this is actually kind of neat. Uh, the uh, Wii U controller actually ends up with acting more like a. Uh, ooh. There we go. The Wii U controller is actually acting kind of like my uh, ship's control system. And uh, I can see that this is increasing my ship's overheat the longer I use it. So I can move a bit more effectively by pretty much uh, overclocking my ship's engines, but it'll make me probably cause me some damage. Assist grips. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice when you find an indie game someone's tried to have a bit of thought in. Alright, what we got? Oh, so far, so. Cave. 
Very atmospheric, kind of pretty looking cave, but still just a cave. Do we have to shoot anything at any point? A uh, grappling hook? I will take a microwave so that we can use... Oh, hello. Mass generator. Uh, mass generator to increase the ship's mass. What? Okay, so now we have a button which allows us to increase the mass of the ship. Why? That's just weird. Ah, okay. You need to use it in order to get around and things. Right. So because we're heavier, we can use... we can go underwater. Cool. Oh, there is. Uh, can we not move? No. That's actually incredibly awkward. Oh boy. Okay, the best we can possibly do for that is to pathetically stream out bubbles, sort of. Full blast on the mass thing! We're heading straight down. One, down. Okay, we'll turn it off. Anything of any particular interest up here? And I'm just waiting for some horrible beast to come around and say hello. <laughs> That's cute. There's actually a little bit of uh, noise as the. Uh, what? Let me read this. <laughs> panel. So the uh, ship's computer. Oh, I see. So the gamepad is the ship's computer. Uh, t the And then the other two controllers are for navigation. So it's possible to have multiple pilots on this. That's kind of cool. Possibly pointless. Neat. Now, why does the... the Sorry, for a minute there I thought that the uh, well, the motion controls were doing something. But apparently not. What the heck is that? Okay, is skeleton or is metal? I can't tell. It's mangled. That is metal. <laughs> Uh, was that good? Can't tell if good or not. Can I say no? Push button. Okay. So far so good. Hello. Uh, small craft scanner system equipped with flares. Flares. Uh, okay. So we can use that, and it'll cause a flare. I'm going to assume this is the only weapon we have at the moment. Uh, honestly, more likely this is just the. Uh, this is just an alternative. A uh, fuel source, kind of like throwing a rock down a hole. Or we can use it to attack, uh, to hit stuff. Oof. Okay, that's neat. 
that's handy to have. Doesn't seem to be uh, limited in any way other than having to charge it up. That's good. I wonder what this is built in. Tilt the universe in order to control the pitch of the small craft. Really? Oh, so you can. Why would I? Why would I want that? Oh, I see. So you can move through certain cracks. Okay. So there we go. Because I'm able to tilt the craft, I'm able to get through those gaps. That's neat. with the U-Explore Concern Communications Pod. Here, you can contact the U-Explore headquarters to express any concerns or to request evacuation. The status of this unit is... broken. <laughs> broken how? Why? Or where? What can I do with it? Hello? Oh, hello. Don't panic. The U-Explore Mothership launches over 49 concern pods on mission start. Another one should be nearby. I see. Hmm. Okay, let's turn back on our engines. Let's turn back on the scanner. Clearly that is um, do we need to move this thing? No, okay. Come on. Shift there. We go. Goodness, there's no damage while you can get while uh, shunt you and shunt it around. In there. Hitting the things. Otherwise, this would have got to really cover my ship very quickly. Those are expected to shimmy through a uh, tiny gap. Mm, this is very atmospheric, guys, but nothing is really happening. Let's increase our speed. Those lasers are not good for my health. Ah. Okay, so blue surface bounces flares. Okay, button pushed. Button pushed.
Well, so far so good. Not too bad. Horn button to sound the horn. The horn will make sound with any engine turned on. Right. Still not entirely sure what I'm doing. Sensor, small craft for uh, the sensor. Okay. Wee 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 wee. Go on, then. What is it? Oh! The uh, craft was zapped by whatever the hell that was. Okay, that's not good. Players are you? No, that's not doing anything. Cool. Right, so that tells us the area of effect for these guys. And how careful we need to be. Cool. Thread the needle, there we go. Can't go that way. Ow, ow, ow. Right, we probably can't take too many more of those. I'm going to turn down the thrust. Ow! Blast! Come on! Come on, turn on the engine! No! No! Damn it! Oi! Okay, turn the engine, turn on the scanner. to be a little bit more stable. I'm going to take the speedy option. Wow, large radius for this guy. And we're through. Whatever the hell those things are. Alright, so far so tutorially. Anything else they're going to show us? Because, uh, obviously you can't see it on here, but uh, on my screen there is a lot of stuff. There's a lot of buttons which haven't got anything on them. Oh, hello. Output meters. The meters lets you monitor your sound, heat, and electricity output. Kind of like uh, having to sort out the uh, boots. Uh, this is like having to sort out all your boots and stuff uh, in the Ocarina of Time. So if you have way more control over it. Okay. This thing. A stabilizer system. Yeah, I can find that. Oh, okay. We use too much electricity, we're going to uh, have some problems. Looks like I can fly over here more carefully. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. And yeah, dead. Cool. Uh, I don't care 
about stress on the reactor, just care about being alive. Turn on its system so it does it so it sucks less. But if you turn them uh, turn them up to the point where they're actually useful, they uh, start screwing your computer. They yeah, start screwing your machine up. Wonderful. Spectaculon is host to the 150-year-old crash site of a gigantic star cruiser. Guess what? It's not made by humans. On your adventure, you may encounter debris and even working artifacts that have been jettisoned from this cruiser. Though they are completely safe, the Board of Space Tourism prohibits all interactions with these artifacts. Because of this, a penalty fee will be issued for every artifact you disturb. If you do, however, encounter an artifact, don't panic. Point your scanner at it. If it has a sensor, its detection range will be shown as a circle. Look at the meters on your heads down display. The orange bar indicates that the scanned artifact senses heat. Produce less heat than this and it won't detect you. Tapping the heat meter will show you which systems produce heat. Okay, In this cool. case, it's your fuel thruster. Simply lower its system power. Make sure the system doesn't produce too much heat when you accelerate, and you're good to go. Right, so a lot of, a lot of this game is going to be around Trying to manipulate my uh, ship system so that I can sneak by easier. Alright, okay, that's actually kind of a neat idea. Else getting like a little big planet to feel from this. Okay, let's try the other game. Playing. I'm quite happy I got that now. Yeah, I, I like that. Uh, uh, we haven't played too much of it, but I, do, I have liked what I've played so far. It's not spectacular or anything. It's, um, it could be quite nice for a nice Sunday afternoon or something. Something sci fi, something uh, rather slow and explorative. T -t 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 the software update is complete. Hooray! I didn't know there was one. Okay, time for this. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. I've, I've seen the cutscenes for this. Oh man. <laughs> I know this game, this game basically wants to be, it's basically Sonic the Hedgehog, but made by fans of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is not going to go well. <laughs> Trust me on this. Right. Shrigan Pant Pant Avril. Aliv Avrilus. Avrilus. Wow. Okay, really 
Maverick. Very Sega Mega Drive. Stop shouting, you strange man! My knowledge, it will make him the most powerful ruler the world has ever known. And he will answer to no one but me. Uh, oh, okay, they just killed him. Repel the snatcher. What? Okay, what the hell is that? For centuries we have depended on the kingdom stone. Why do I feel like I'm falling through an episode of Piggy Man Masters of the Universe? Poisoning with madness over the devil's farm has spread machines across the land to steal energy from other kingdoms. Tensions are broken, and I fear that war may be enough. Right, great. Who are you? Freedom Planet! Okay. Right. Okay, so we have start game, time attack, gallery, I don't know what I'm doing. Start game! Yay! File. Oh, I'm a glutton for punishment. I think we all know this by now. Let's play adventure. Oh, this is going to get painful, isn't it? I've heard the voice acting in this before. It made me cringe, so... Uh... A meteor! Sure, why not? The place is being taken over, the... King is now crazy, and... This thing is here. As you do. Seriously, who is this guy? Sorry, no, who is this guy? I know he's the bad guy, but who is he? Uh, meanwhile, in another game, Afterburner, I think. Oh, no, it is a Sonic game. Okay. By the way, that's supposed to be a cat, even though it's green. The other thing? That's a dragon, apparently. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. Lilac the dragon, I think. Can't you be a little material pants some other time? Yeah, I wanna go I wanna go get ice cream. Not a chance! I know nobody sells. Um, we will play as the Dragon Lila. I just don't question it. Right, okay, so that button. Ooh, double jump. Nice. Okay, a slappy attack. Cool. Uh, well, surprise, surprise. It feels almost entirely like Sonic the Hedgehog. Different attacks depending on when, uh, what buttons I push. That's nice. What was that? Oh, okay. So if I push X, I do a spinny thing, and then I fly into the air. I suppose that's my equivalent. Oh, that was nice. I suppose that's my equivalent of a um. Ah, oh, was it a spin dash? There we go. Except I can do this in other any direction. I'm 
carve them directly up for reasons I don't fully understand. So I'm sure all of you have heard about this one before. As far as I understand it, it was originally a Sonic uh, fan game which people turned into this. And they built the engine and all that sort of thing and then they figured, eh, let's put our OCs in it. And thus, a game I don't understand a single part of what's going on. But... Aha! Oh boy. I'm just holding left at this point and I seem to be winning. Just like in Sonic. Ah, uh, if I had... Uh, there is one problem I have with this so far. There's not a heck of a lot of lead room. Lead room, which I, I hear means the amount of space on screen which I have between the edge of the screen and my character. Uh, essentially, the amount of space I have to react in. And there's not a heck of a lot of it. Quite reminiscent of the original games actually, where um, it is honestly quite quite which is honestly the uh, honestly quite uh, uh, quite similar to the original game. Alright, zoom I don't have a spin dash thing. I can't push down in order to roll. My Sonic only a bit of even. Oh I don't I don't get it. What do these do? Nope, that's going to continue to mystify me, I'm afraid. Nope. Don't know. But ladders, though! Oh, um. No, don't jump! Go. Well, this has felt more Sonic-like than any of the Sonic games which have come out in recent years. With the possible exception... Oh, hello. With the possible exception of the Sonic Rush games. Seriously, those games are actually really good. At least the first one is, I haven't played, the, uh, haven't played Sonic Flash Adventure. No. Come on! Oh! I, can I get... there we go. I don't know what I'm collecting, by the way. Nothing has really been explained, so... Okay, boss time. No. You see, without the explanation that I'm fighting Dr. Robotnik, this just seems random. Why am I fighting a giant snake thing? It's just evil, apparently, so I have to go beat it up. We've taught, we've taught the random snake thing a lesson, so therefore we can carry on with the level. Okay, good dragon. Yeah, I will not let this go. This does not look like a dragon, it looks like a cat. The other thing looks like a dragon, more than this thing looks like a dragon. I'm not making it up either, I am pretty certain that Lilac is supposed to be a dragon. Somehow, I, I've I've met some people from the Sonic, uh, the sort of like the Sonic fandom and that sort of thing. Some of them have quite nice designs. Some of them are completely garish, bizarre. 
they might have some of them quite generic. But at least they look like what they're meant to be. This, I'm not even going to buy the idea that this is supposed to be a uh, like a an Eastern, uh, Eastern, uh, an Eastern, East Asian dragon, like a Chinese or Japanese dragon. Not even they look like this. This looks too cute. It is not a dragon. I will not be convinced. Back to the green cat thing on the motorcycle, which I will show you next level, if this level ever, ever ends. Uh, looks more like a dragon than this thing. Uh, oh. You leave me alone, you. Do we go down here? I really don't know what I'm doing. I am going to go with... maybe. Right, what did I just pick up? It refilled my thing bar, so it must be a good thing. I thought this was made a few years ago. I ended up getting this on the recent Friends of Nintendo Humble Bundle, so I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. There's a lot of puzzle and finding. What I remember of the original songs. We uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, now the game has deadly palm trees which have sharp knees. Oh, okay. That's Indiana Jones this. Sure, okay. So, uh, we defeat this by holding left. Cool. Run, little lilac, run! Hit it that hard? Oh, cool. Wow, that was a long that was a lengthy level. How long is this game again? How many How many did you order? You didn't say please. Again, I have no context or idea who any of these characters are, but at the same... Yeah, the Serpentine's voice actor is quite cool. This guy, on the other hand, I'm not feeling his performance much. <laughs> snake mount? There's a thing? Oh. Oh, was that the thing which I was fighting? It does sound like a proper anime character. 
Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm sure you can! <laughs> Seriously, why are you picking on the platypus? What context is there for that? What is going on? Who is anyone here? Why is anything? What is the importance of this duck? Why is this serpent evil? Like, why is he such a prat? Oh, that was a close one. Thank you, Miss. Um. Miss Lilac. Why is there a turtle duck? That's a turtle duck. He was able to pull himself into his shell. That's a turtle duck. It's a turtle dove, okay? not turtle so duck. A That's a thing. There. Uh, you okay, Sweezy? You kind of got a thousand-yard stare there. You've been following me this whole time, haven't you? I take it you know this guy. Girl. Uh, this girl. Oh dear God. She's lost my tail. All those right behind me. Yes, Carol is actually supposed to be a cat when the other one, which looks like Sonic the Hedgehog's sister, that's supposed to be a dragon. There you go. That's supposed to be cute. Well, I'm Tork. Um... I'm a shell duck. Uh huh. Shell duck? It's more of a nickname. I'm not exactly from around here. Spoilers, he's a space alien. No, I'm not thinking about that. That's true. What bearing on the plot does it have? I don't know. Someone is about to steal the Kingdom Stone, and I have to stop them! Right, what's the Kingdom Stone? Why should I care? That's impossible. It's a thingy which causes uh, energy. I know it, it, it creates energy for the world to live. I know, I get that. Yeah, but I could steal. What's going on? You wish. So, the li so, Carol is a thief now, on a motorcycle. It's already happened. Zao sending troops in disguise to the ancient temple. I have to warn them. Who's Mayor Zhao? What temple? Why are they going in disguise? They're soldiers. Shouldn't they just... Shouldn't they just storm the place? Carol and I are pretty fast. We could run over there Seriously? Uh, no, we just said that because... Sounded like the thing to do. Yep, it was neighborly. She's a dragon. They're like super fast. <laughs> That's not a dragon. Time straight. Uh, it's worth a shot. That's not Hurry a bloody dragon. I'm gonna hammer this home. That is not a dragon. What about that is a hedgehog with dread. I can't remember if this guy becomes playable or not. I think they get a variety of different characters and it's seriously random. Ah, uh, is he called Gong because he has a sh massive shield on his back? This guy's a heat half decent voice actor. He's quite he's got a performance well, going at least. What is the meaning of this? Oh who the hell is this? 
This game is just throwing about a thousand and one different characters at us. How am I supposed to give a crap about any of these guys if they just keep throwing them at me? get vibes of Beast Boy from the Carol character? Huh. It's an Air Force. No, it's a gigantic truck. Which exists in feudal Japan future. What is it with this? What is it with this? I don't... I... Uh, this game just makes my brain uh, ache in every place you possibly can. So, oh, back to gameplay. We've been cutscene to death, that's enough. Which, thankfully, is actually quite pleasant. <laughs> I mean, it's just sort of Sonic the Hedgehog with different characters. It's uh, not too hard to screw up. Sega manager. Hmm. Oh, I want to go up there. Damn it. Uh Yar no. What are the red things for again? I don't know what they're for. They, do they do something? Is that health? I think that might be health. Ow. Yeah, that's health. Okay, so we no, no longer have a ring system, we have actual health bars. Cool. I don't know why it's red things, but sure. I have to defeat a certain enemy. Okay, no, I just have to get through the area. I'm still not sure what the hell these things to do. Yeah, I should, probably should have read the manual before I played this one. appear cute to anyone? I don't know. I think the only cute characters I can think of right now which I actually like are pretty much the uniforms. Look okay, but they look very anime. I mean, anime is not a look I'm always that practical to. I think that's just a personal preference. Oh, that works. 
teleporter. Does a shield. Ooh. Oh, I Come out. Get up the thing, please. No, not it. Oh. Right. Fly. Again. No, 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 no. There we go. Right. Go for the other one. Okay, so the gimmick for this one is switches. Good to know. Turn the lights on, so that's all we need to do. Cool. Oh, that last boss was creative, guys. They put an eye on it and everything. Hey, at least they let you instigate it. The Master Emerald! Damn it, Robotnik! Run. I am. I am. Alright, go thing. Cool. I am. I am. That's quite a nice addition from Sonic. Being able to actually attack right from the whole jumping on things thing. Ooh. Did I lose my shield? I lost my shield. Now. 
Um. Oh. Right. <gasps> the Chaos Emerald! No! Doing, doing, doing. Huh. Then you need to jump. Cool. Jumpy. Oh. 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 I don't know how much damage I'm causing to this thing, but it is. It was damaged enough to do a little dance move, so that's good enough for me. Ha! Ah, your engine is destroyed! Now, how many of these things do you have? Hmm. Hmm. Anti-climax, guys. Just cut the music out. And now we're in Mystic Cave Zone. Why? Just to pad the level out a bit longer? What? We stopped the truck. <sighs> you know what? For now, I think that's good enough. Um, yeah, it's getting quite late for me, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut this a little bit shorter than usual. Um, I might have to come back to, uh, was it, uh, Dangerous Adventures or whatever it's called. The Little Adventure Company or whatever it is. Because uh, that actually looks kind of neat. Kind of like a Metroidvania meets, um, uh, sort of space sim thing. So that's quite neat. Um... Freedom, Freedom Planet is going to be fun in its own right, just because it is a Sonic clone built by Sonic fans. It will probably be quite good fun. Um, the voice acting, I am going to sit there and just giggle at it. It's uh, horrible incompetence. And Pokemon Tournament is now honestly one of my favourite fighting games ever. Yeah, no, I quite enjoyed it. It's it's good. It's uh, really good fun. A Forbidden Planet, I don't know. No, not Forbidden Planet. That's the uh, comic book shop. Uh, Freedom Planet. Yeah, he's all right. I'm actually far more intrigued by the adventure game than anything. You know, the spaceship adventure game. That's just me, though. I just I just like that kind of aesthetic, and it's clearly trying to go for. A uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy kind of feel, and uh, that just hits me right in the thing. So, um, anyway, thank you very much. Uh, I've been Tyre the Fox, and that has been Pokémon Tournament, Freedom Planet, and Adventure. What's it? What's it called? Affordable Space Adventures. There we go. You can put it up on screen for you. At some point I will play Shamu, uh, Shante, Shamu, whatever it's called, but uh, for now, I've, 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 had, I've had fun and I hope you have too. Especially with me complaining about the voice acting in Freedom Planet. Yeah. Anyway. No, no, guys, have a good one, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to reconvene on Saturday. I think, I'm thinking Saturday, we might do Sunday. Uh, keep a peek. Keep your eyes peeled, um, and we'll be doing, uh, it might even be tomorrow, uh, we'll have a double check, but uh, we'll be doing some Kingdom Hearts, try and get more of that game out of the way so that we can move on to other things, because I, I want to fin finish all of the games on, uh, on a let as a Let's Play, just, just as a matter of pride and all anything else at this point. <laughs> See you later, guys, and uh, have a good one, okay? Bye.